Hey everyone, I'm Brock with PDQ, and this is episode number eight of our Getting Started series with PDQ Connect. Today we're taking a look at reports in PDQ Connect and the awesome things you can do here. So let's go ahead and dive into PDQ Connect. And once you've got your console up, we'll go ahead and click on reports. If you've got a lot of people in your environment, this list can get pretty long if you've been creating a lot of reports, which I definitely recommend you do. But we can easily search for reports right here. I can type in budget. There you go, there's a the report I'm looking for. So it's an easy way to quickly identify the reports if this list of reports gets pretty long. But let's go ahead and dive into create a report and we'll show you kind of all the options and features available when you create a custom report. All right, let's go ahead and create an OS report. So you go ahead and name your report and then we'll go down to the column section here and we'll select our columns that we want on the report. First thing that we're probably gonna wanna add is the device name. Since this is an operating system report, we will go ahead and add the device OS and device OS install date. Next, let's dive into, let's add something from the disk drive table. So you go ahead and change your table right here. And this, these are all your options here. You've got Active Directory, CPU disk drives. You've got a couple of the scanner options here, which we'll go over in the next episode. Uh, you've got files and folders, networking, registry, software. Software is a big one in case of course, for reporting. For this example, let's go ahead and dive into disk drives and we will go ahead and select disk drive sizes. We'll give that a confirm. The nice thing is that this report builder runs so fast that at any time you can quickly kind of see what your report, report is looking like by hitting save and run. You'll see it's queued there. We're doing this in real time. And there's the information that we've kind of queued up in this report, but it doesn't quite look the way I want it. So we will click the ellipsis button up here and go ahead and edit this report again. This time, let's go ahead and group it by OS. Your group by option, you're gonna see what that looks like here. If I save and run that, it's gonna group all the devices that fall into that same category. So we've grouped it by, o by our OS and already you can see how much cleaner the information is and they've grouped by the different types of operating systems. So here we have Microsoft Windows 10 Pro. If we expand that, we've got one device that pulled up in here. Let's look at our Windows 11 Pro. We've got a lot more Windows 11 going on. Okay, so let's go and maybe add a filter to this report. When you're working with filters, the options you have are the based on the options of the columns that you've selected for your report. So you'll see I've got device name, OS, OS install date, and drive size. So let's go ahead and change. We're gonna filter based on the drive size and we're going to look for just devices that have less than 61 gigs available, okay? That should be most far like virtual machines where we assign 60 gigs. So let's save and run that and see what pulls back, okay? Got a few devices, but not nearly as many as we're returning before. You can see right here, we've got some 60 gig drives, 50 gig drives, okay? So it looks like our filter is working properly. So we'll go ahead and edit this. Next, let's look at the uh, target. You, you can have, by default, you're gonna be searching through all of your devices, but you can change that. You can click custom. You can add devices here. In fact, if you click on the field, you'll automatically see the groups and devices pull up. So if you just wanna run a, a report against a certain group of devices, this is where you do that. I'm gonna go ahead and run this against the Atlet group. Now let's save and run that one more time. And you'll see that list is gonna shrink significantly. Okay, we've got Windows 10 Pro, Windows 10 11. Here we go, we've only got four devices in here. They're all meeting our filter and our group requirements. Let's edit that one more time and we'll take a look at the last options you have here, which is the schedule. So right now, this is not, a, this is not on a schedule you can see here at the bottom, but we can set it to a schedule by clicking the recurring option. Here you kind of have some basic scheduling options you have an option to set the date when it's gonna start. So we can start this tomorrow. We'll change the time to 12 p.m. We can kind of configure how often we want this to repeat. So I'm gonna go ahead and say one once a month, okay? And you can pick the day of the month too. Let's do the second Wednesday of the month. And then lastly, we have an option to email this report out automatically. So I could add my email there. And then at the very bottom, you'll see this email empty reports. I don't know why you would want an empty report, but maybe just in case you wanna make sure that your reports are actually running correctly, uh, you could click that box and it'll email it to you whether there's data returned or not. All right, so there we have our report all set up. It's set to recur once a month, the second Wednesday of the month. 
Uh, we've got our email here that that's going to send out to. Let me show you one more thing. If we save and run that, the report's being queued. I'm going to show you real quick how easy it is to export this information into a CSV file that you can use. So here you can see we've got our returned results. If we come up here to the options button and we go to export CSV, you'll see that that downloads to your computer. We can open up that folder, open up the zip, and let me pull this information over for you to see. And just like that, with a few clicks, we can export that information into a CSV file, which can later be imported into a program of your choice, okay? So definitely a cool feature to take advantage of. And that's kind of how you set up custom reports, okay? There's tons of cool stuff you can do with this. Definitely play around with it. Um, you know, this is one of those things that's gonna make bosses happy all around the world. So you can easily just find out the information you're looking for and give it to the people who need it. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching everybody. If you got any questions, hit us up in the comments. Make sure to like the video, subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Brock with PDT.